Hi, I'm Blue Dragon from Twitch, and today I want to talk to you about Discord bots and integrations. All right, in no particular order, but probably in the most used, um, we're going to kind of cover these. I don't really use personally that much. I use my Rhythm Bot, my chat, uh, and Discord likes to use Rhythm Bot. It's really great. Uh, you can set up uh, playlists. Uh, you can, people can play whatever songs they want to. Uh, it pulls right from YouTube, so it's a great integration. Um, you can set it to prefix, blacklist particular songs if you don't want those to play. Uh, you can set it to having a person being a DJ only, stuff like that. Uh, prevent song duplication, lots of commands that make it really easy and clean to use. Uh, again, second, I would say is probably the Discord bot. It's very unique. Uh, I think the thing I like about it the most is that you can actually write reviews about particular Discord servers. It's also a great way to find and discover Discords that might be something that you're interested in. You can set each one to have, um, like this one right here, uh, Star Wars, uh, Skywalker. You can use up to five keywords uh, when describing your particular server. Let's go over to mine. So right now I have mine set main English language. It's a community. Uh, tags are gaming, sandbox, Twitch, MMOs, and space sims, which is all the kind of things that we do over on Twitch. And then just a general description uh, of the server. And then again, people can actually write reviews about that. So it kind of does that. Uh, it does have a unique feature where you can boost your server. So when you go into the search category, if you don't search anything, or when you go to the server list and you don't search anything, the people that you see this uh, description down below that says just now, those means those people have boosted their servers. I only use that when I'm uh, about to go live and kind of just throws you back at the top. Uh, so it's definitely a good way to find people or like-minded people with a server that you want to play with. So if you were looking for Minecraft people, you're looking for people to play Roblox with, or you just in general games, memes, you can find it easier this way. And again, even write reviews about the server. Um, probably the one I use the most and use the most features with is uh, Me6, and that's two E's, interesting name. Um, the custom commands are great. The reaction roles is definitely something I highly recommend if you wanna keep your server organized. Uh, I use uh, reaction roles to um, in my rules channel, so when you first join my server, it automatically makes you a member, which gives you very minimum access to the server, um, and then once you go to the rules page, react with a heart or the red circle. The This gives you the Twitch follower role and this gives you the YouTube subscriber role. And by for free, you can have two roles. You can pay for uh, the upgraded package and add more roles and stuff like that uh, to that, but I don't do that. I strictly use all the free stuff. Um, other great things are the custom welcome messages. You can set it to random and stuff like that. Uh, another great thing is the Twitch notification and the YouTube notification. I can actually show you over on my Discord that anytime. So what those two things do is anytime I upload a video to YouTube, it automatically posts to this channel in, in my Discord. And the same thing, every time I go live on Twitch, it posts in Discord and notifies people automatically that are in that. And it's also in my announcement channel. Um, so that gets treated a little bit differently. That's good to go. Uh, nobody else can post in here, but those bots. So overall with the, the me six bot, I highly recommend doing the react to roles and the, if you stream using the Twitch notification, and if you're a YouTuber using the YouTube notification settings at a minimum, they are free. Uh, it is limited, but it's free. You can't complain with free. All right, now I'd like to talk about the integrations that are built into Discord. Uh, to access those, uh, once you've created your server, you go to the top here, whatever you've named it, click the drop down, and then go to server settings, click on server settings, and then go to integrations. Um, this is actually really good to use whether or not that you are 
a streamer or anything like that, if you use Twitch, I actually highly recommend at a minimum, even if you just use Twitch, is to connect your Twitch account to your Discord account. Uh, with doing that, it allows Discord to pull information from Twitch and that will help a lot of streamers and stuff like that if you subscribe to them. Let me go back here. So I don't have to set up a separate channel for my Twitch subscribers. That automatically happens with that integration. So any of these people that are subscribers to me automatically get uh, the Twitch subscriber role and whatever tier they are, it shows separately. And what's great for that is I have it set up also that, oh, it's right behind my head. Uh, there is a separate Twitch um, sub chat channel that only subscribers have access to. So we have a great uh, little bit of one-on-one -on -one action there. This will also be where you see your, uh, you can manage your accesses to your bots. It's all here in the same place. Manage your followed channels. I use my followed channels more like news sources. So anytime that another server or game server is what I use them for. So Deep Rock Galactic, Ashes of Creation, Dual Universe, the three main games that we're kind of looking at as a community right now. Mostly we've been playing Dual Universe as of late. I have those automatically set up as news channels. So we have a news and update channels for the games that we play is what it's fully called. Um, so I have the announcement channel automatically set to update from the dual universe discord automatically makes a news post in my discord because i have those notifications set all right that's all the bots and integrations i use if you recommend any others please post them down in the comments below again i do stream every monday tuesday thursday and friday from 9 a.m to 1 p.m eastern standard time over on twitch feel free to follow me links down and below